a Geeks. Tim Tibbets here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to look at how to disable the Windows 10 login screen. Sometimes it looks like this, and sometimes you don't have a password set up. It still pops up, and even though you don't have a password, you still have to hit OK for almost no good reason. So this is me coming out of sleep, so you might see something like that, or you might be seeing that just press OK. For a lot of us, if you don't have a password or any other thing set up where your Windows should just be logging in, go ahead and press your Windows key plus R and type in net plwiz, N-E-T-P-L-W-I-Z, press enter or OK. And you notice on the guide we mentioned this should be as simple as one, two, three. This is step one. What you're looking to do here now is make sure that this is unchecked. Users must enter a username and password to use this computer. Make sure your account is highlighted and uncheck that and go ahead and click OK. If you have a password, it's going to ask you for one. And of course, you're going to have to put it in a second time. That should be it. Now, I should also mention, although obvious, you don't know if it worked unless you log out or reboot. So you can go ahead and try that now and see if it works. Bookmark the video before you leave, just in case, just in case. All right, so you've seen all this as we're following the guide. Now we want to verify the require sign, and this is another big one. One of these two will often solve your problem. Let's get your Windows key plus S and start typing in sign in. And Oops, when you see sign in options, go ahead and click on that. Click on that. There we go. So you're looking for require sign in. Click on never right here under require sign in. And that's it. There is no OK or anything like that. You also want to consider are you using the fingerprint, pin, password? Because that's your chance to change it now. But the way we've got things, let's see what happens. We'll leave that right there. And we'll test that in just a second here. I also wanted to mention the power and sleep settings. Once again, win S and start typing in power. If you don't see power and sleep settings afterwards, just space and hit the and right there and it will show up. Power and, there it is. All you're looking for here is when the plugged in, the PC goes to sleep and this is a last ditch effort. I don't use sleep. If you can live without it, this is only for sleep, not for starting or restarting change it to never. I haven't used sleep in 20 years and I'm sure some of you are the same only because we use our computer so often. If you use your computer a lot, frankly, shut it off. If you don't use your computer a lot, it's really not worth the effort to worry about having to sign in every once in a while. Just not worth not letting your computer go to sleep. There you go. So let's give us a quick shot. We're using virtual machine. Let's put her to sleep. And sometimes the graphics kind of screw up for some reason when I'm playing with this guide and video. Let's bring her back up. Probably here, there's that garble. To give it a second. It won't happen to you. Now, as you can see, when we came back before, you saw me at the welcome screen. Now it's gone. So once again, remember, this is the way I designed this guide and video. It is as easy as one, two, three. Feel free to try step one. And if that doesn't work, add in step two. And finally, consider step three only if you can live without your computer going to sleep. And there you go. As always, down here in the bottom right-hand corner, you should see the Major Geeks logo. If you click on that, you will subscribe to Major Geeks. We do a few videos a week. We'd love to have you on board. And we thank you, as always, for watching. See ya.